everybody. I'm Josh, KI6NAZ, and this is the Amateur Radio License Test Prep Crash Course. This is for the United States license. You will have similar questions, but they will be different depending on which country you're in. Uh, just make sure you are following whatever mechanism of rules there are with regards to getting a license. If you missed the technician license course and you don't have your technician yet, I will have links in the video description to the technician license crash course. In the United States, the biggest reason to upgrade to general from technician, which is the second class, is to get access to more frequencies that you can operate on. Generally, the move from technician to general gives you HF privileges. You had a very small taste as a technician with 10 meters being the primary band of operation. But when you get general, you get access to every HF frequency that is available to amateur radio users in the United States. If all of this is brand new to you and you are interested in going straight to HF, then you're going to have to get technician first and then get general. So you might want to start with that first session pool that I did and then move on to this one as I drop the videos. HF for me is where amateur radio truly opens up and becomes the much wider world with the amazing contacts you can make over distance and you can play with a lot of really cool pieces of equipment that allow you again really long distance contacts i cannot understate the importance of the long distance hf contacts which is the big thing we all really want to get as radio amateurs to run the test pool for these sessions i am using hamstudy.org this is a free website to make an account you can also download the app it's about four dollars and it'll allow you to go through and practice read questions and study questions the great thing about having an account on hamstudy.org is it goes with you wherever you access it. So it will keep track of your records, how you're doing with your study exams, and you should be doing study exams as much as you can. The more studying you do, the better hamstudy will let you know by forwarding you more questions that you have difficulty on to get you better skilled and ready for that test. At the time of this recording, we got about two years left on the general pool before new ones come out. And we have a new feature on Ham Study. If you click on General, and then you click on the Question Pool Order, and you click the Change button, you now can use whatever order of questions are seen in some of the most popular books for amateur radio study, like the ARRL book and the Gordon West book. This is a fantastic way to both read your book and follow along by studying on the app as you go wherever it is you go, and it will all be tracked on hamstudy.org. So go make an account, go download the app if you're so inclined, but you can use the website for free and it will track your progress. We're going to go with bog standard question pool. We're going to take the general pool exactly how it is. So let's go to read questions on the left and we have 10 sub elements and a lot of questions. There's a pretty decent amount of questions in the general question pool. As always, you will need to pass the test with a 74% accuracy rate. And my general opinion is once you get to about 75 or 80% accuracy of passing with the practice exams that you can do with ham study, go ahead and schedule a test. And when you're ready to take that test, go to hamstudy.org and click on Find a Session right there at the top right. This will give you a list of all the sessions that are coming up in your area, and most of these are going to be online tests. So you simply will use Zoom and something called Exam Tools to take your practice exam. We also have a very good VE team on the Hammer to Crash Course Discord. If you have joined our Discord, and if you haven't, links in the video description. Click on that and go to testing questions and there's usually a VE or volunteer examiner that is there and say that you're interested in taking your test. You might be surprised that you could be sitting in your bathroom taking a test moments after you make that statement. Uh, generally though, Keep in mind that when you do an online test that you're going to need to be in a room where there's not a lot of, well, no other people, no other cameras. They're going to have you pan the room. So if you're okay with panning the room, you know, pick a room where you're okay doing that. Generally, that's why a lot of people go with a bathroom uh, in some cases to take the exam because you're not there that too long and it's pretty small. So there's no, there's no way that you could be hiding anything. Yes, we do want to make sure that we're proctoring these tests to the best capability possible and that everybody is doing it fairly. This pretty much concludes the intro video for the sessions. We're going to go on to the next video, which is going to cover sub-element one, and we'll follow in order down the line. I hope these are helpful for you. 
Best part about them being on YouTube is that you can replay them as many times as you want. And make sure to go make an account over at hamstudy.org and begin studying there as well. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for watching the videos. I'm Josh, KI6NAZ73.